First, make sure you download my free rainy day brush and the background picture here so you can follow along. So we want to go ahead and add a track right above this background picture. And this is where we're going to add the first rain track here. Click on the draw tool and for your brush color, I'm just gonna keep mine white, but you can choose any color. So in order to see it, I'm going to have to change the background. Click on background color and I'll pick black. You can pick any dark color you like. Now let's pick the brush, click on brush, and we're going to go down to imported and click on the rainy day brush that you imported already. Now we're ready to draw on this track. So make sure you're on the rain track and we're just going to uh, raise the size a little bit and just start drawing the raindrops by dragging your Apple Pencil on the screen. You can do as much or as little as you like. And of course, remember to go out of the picture uh, boundaries as well. And make sure you get on the bottom of the picture here. And just go above the picture and keep drawing the rain because you're going to drag this all the way down. So it looks like it's raining. You could even increase, decrease the size anything you like. Okay, that should do it. So looking good. Let's click done here. And then we're going to extend this. So long press and fill duration. And that should fill out the entire timeline. Click on move, move in scale. And you might have to zoom in just to make sure that you click on the keyframe here. Make sure it's white. So that's the beginning keyframe. Then go all the way to the end. And we're going to drag it down and click on the keyframe, make it white. And then just start dragging all the raindrops down here. Let's swipe it to the beginning and watch it play. All right, looks good already. It does look good, but I don't want it to look like a conveyor belt. So let's add another track. Click Add, Track. And we're going to add a more distant track. Uh, and we're going to click on the draw tool, click on the color. We're going to change the color to maybe a, a blue here. This will give the animation some depth. So it looks like that it's also raining behind these raindrops. Okay, click done. And click the draw tool. And let's decrease the size a little bit so it stands out. We're just going to make sure we're on this other track and just start drawing the raindrops, just like we did on the previous track. Now, it might be a little hard to see the blue raindrops here because I have the blue sky, but you can adjust the color to darker blue or any other color you like. And just keep going above the picture, just like we have been doing. Okay, great job. Click done. And we want to long press and fill duration. Click on the playhead, move, move and scale. And click on the keyframe, make sure it's white here. Zoom in a little bit just to make sure you have a white keyframe. And then go all the way to the end. Click on it again and make sure you drag it down or just move it until you see the white keyframe. And here you're going to move all the raindrops down just like you did the previous track. Click play to check it out. Now I am noticing that my white raindrops almost look like long snow <laughs> or snow droppings maybe. So let's make it look more like rain. Click on opacity, bring the amount down to almost halfway, about 55% is fine. And we could stop right here, but I like to add one more track just to add a little more depth. So click on this track here that we were just drawing on and click Add and Track. This makes a new track here. We're going to create even more depth by drawing raindrops closer to the camera. So make sure it's at the maximum size and opacity. Now this time, don't make as many raindrops as the other two tracks. And I will show you why. Unclick the drawing layers here just to be able to see it clearly and just start drawing. Again, draw these sparingly. Don't draw too many because we're going to do something with these raindrops.
Okay, now before we extend the track, we want to make these raindrops really large. So click on move, move and scale, and just grab one of these handles and just make these raindrops really big. And now we want to make these raindrops look like they're closest to the camera. So click on the playhead, filter, and Gaussian blur. Just going to make it about 3% blurry here. Now let's long press on the track and fill duration. And make sure we select the beginning keyframe. Make sure it's white. And then we're going to go all the way to the end, just like we did the other track. And click on the end here and just drag it down quickly and make sure that's white. And now we can uh, drag the picture all the way down to make these raindrops fall a little slower than the other ones. And again, we're just looking at this track here with the other ones not selected. So let's go ahead, bring it back to the beginning and we can just check these two tracks again. And now let's watch the whole thing. Four fingers and press play. And there you have it. I hope this level up tutorial can help you increase your skills using Procreate Dreams. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please check out my links below like my children's book and online shop. And click on this video to learn how to animate snow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.